Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good evening uh, fellow uh, Zambians. Uh... I'm glad and honored that uh, you've um, joined me this evening and I apologize that you are coming your way at short notice. I have two uh, matters I wanted to raise with you and uh, I'm hoping that uh, Zambians will be able to listen to what I'm saying, not only from a place of um, you know, politics, but I think uh, what we are raising are matters that requires that Zambians listen to us from their hearts. Um, one, as Patriotic Front, we have received demands across the country from our councillors, uh, council chairpersons and mayors, and members of parliament demanding that they would want to all resign because they are being in positions where they were elected by the electorates in the respective wards and you know, districts and cities as well as constituencies. Uh, it's no longer making sense because they are not allowed to represent their wishes desires and will of the electorates in view of what has happened so far under the UPND. The last stroke or indeed decision that has gotten everybody agitated is the declaration of nine seats of members of parliament vacant and to that effect there is this demand that let's have an early election. His Excellency, the 60th President, Edgar Galungu, has directed that I come your way and request that that demand, yes, has reached my office as Secretary General, but as it were, we are not like UPND, that is a one man show. Um, we are going to have these matters presented to Central Committee, deliberate, up, deliberate upon them, and we'll be able to come up with a position. Whether or not, uh, in the interest of the nation, having an early election would be the option. So we are requesting that you give us a few days so that we can be able to have uh, an emergency central committee to discuss these matters. Uh, our vice president this uh, afternoon addressed the nation, called upon all members of Patriotic France, Bathazas, to get to the coast tomorrow, unhindered, because what Mr. You know, Jack Mwimbu said is unconstitutional. I want to reiterate. The UPND have um, mobilized recruits from Sondela. Um, we had 200 yesterday. By this evening, there are 400. But what I know is that uh, the UPND have inflicted excruciating experiences and circumstances upon the 20 million Zambians. The only way we can be able to get Mr. Aka and the HDMI sober from all that is confusing him 
is when all of us, the 20 million Zambians, communicate a message that power belongs to the people. And therefore, as Secretary General of Patriotic Front, I appeal not only to members of Patriotic Front, I also appeal to Zambians that keep phoning and calling, asking us what are we going to do about this situation. What we are going to do is not anything unconventional, anything unconstitutional. Within the confines of the law and within the rights that we enjoy, we enjoy uh, as stipulated within the law, tomorrow you march from wherever you are, drive from wherever you are to get to the constitutional court. The, the courts have expressed themselves in many ways that they are under very extreme pressure from the executive in protecting the principle of separation of powers. The only authority that is remaining to be able to exert and demand that people account for the action they are undertaking is the authority vested in the people. So tomorrow, we are all committed. Edgar Chagorong is committed. Given Umende is committed. Rafa Nakachinda is committed. Members of Central Committee are committed. Members of Parliament are committed. Councillors, council chairpersons, mayors are all committed. We are converging tomorrow at the Supreme Court grounds where the Constitutional Court will be gathering to demand that Zambia must be a different from Kenya. Zambia must be different from other jurisdictions where lawlessness, anarchy has become the order of the day. For us, we corrected ourselves in 1990, 1991 by making sure that the people's will was respected. We corrected ourselves in 2001 when the will of the people was respected over the third term. Even now, we are going to correct ourselves against tribalism, against dictatorship. Ms. Aka Indechirema's will to be able to intimidate and shut the opposition in some corner, we will be corrected. Let's begin by gathering ourselves at the you know, court's grounds tomorrow. Don't and we should not go there to go and cause anything unconstitutional, but to exercise our rights. And those rights must be protected, demanded, and upheld tomorrow, the 9th of the July uh, 2024. God bless and thanks very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.